Elevators are like building lifelines. Any high rise building cannot do without elevators. So our customers who are the builders and the architects, they ensure that they design elevators to uh, the ensure that the traffic flows very smoothly in any kind of building, be it residential, commercial, or retail or hospitality sector. So our customers perceive vertical transportation units as a very important aspect of the their building. And uh, uh, various products or projects when I say, uh, whether it is uh, residential, how important uh, uh, the units are, whether it is passenger elevators or service elevators, how properly they are provided to the people residing, the population residing in the building as well as the number of floors. It should, as per the traffic analysis done, it should serve well to the building. Similarly to the commercial, during the up peak and all, customers would want the elevators to be designed accordingly to ensure that you know people flow happens very smoothly. See, in elevator industry per se, when uh, elevators are being made and technology is getting added uh, and new features are getting added day by day, it is important that the elevator companies and the consultants update the builders and architects what is the latest happening in the industry so that they are aware and when they are going for their new projects designing and all, they also ensure that all the latest technology what is being available in the market should flow into their building in terms of their units so that they can provide a better value to their end customers. So it is very critical that this knowledge uh, uh, flow should happen from elevator companies, consultants to the builders and architects so that you know their end customers are benefited a lot. Right now there is a gap still. It can be the gap can be reduced by ensuring that you know there is a constant interaction between elevator companies, consultants and the builders and architects. In India, uh, per se, after the agricultural sector, the construction sector is uh, perceived to be the second largest. And uh, as we know, when I said agricultural sector is the most important sector, lot of rural India, the population masses are slowly moving to towards urbanization or towards the uh, metros, tier 1, tier 2 cities, where they need lot of uh, provision for accommodation in terms of residences in terms of office spaces and uh, as a offshoot you will have retail, hospitality sector, health sector following. So in India what is happening is earlier say in 40s and 50s when it started only few metros elevators were being provided or the high rise buildings were there. But these metros have actually gained lot of traction especially with the government policies being changed to be more flexible towards uh, uh, the building and real estate sector. So lot of uh, uh, high rise buildings are coming up in metros. In tier 2, tier 3 cities lot of uh, traction is happening in terms of building closer to the central district. So high rises are the only way to uh, provide kind of uh, accommodation in terms of residential and office spaces. So vertical transportation systems are as I told you earlier also they are lifeline of the building. So lot many units are being provided and uh, as you see from say 2000 onwards where the Indian elevator market was say 20,000 units per annum. Now it has come to close to a, a lack of units per annum and uh, if we are looking at say 6 years down the line at 2030 we should be 1.5 lakhs uh, doing 1.5 lakhs per annum which is second only to China which is a uh, global uh, leading uh, uh, market uh, which is almost around uh, 6 lakhs per annum or so. So India per se is a very important and a critical market in terms of elevators. So uh, earlier uh, whenever I, when I started as a consultant I, I asked when the elevator industry is there most of them perceive elevator market size as you know divided into two parts which is the organized sector and the unorganized sector. Now I would say that it is actually further divided into uh, three. One is the multinationals, next is the organized sector, next is the unorganized sector. Why I say this is, 
multinationals which have established their uh, markets in India and they are uh, selling, servicing in India, lot of units they are installing and all. So, multinationals, yeah, even uh, like uh, Mitsubishi, uh, Otis, Kone, Schindler, Toshiba, Fugitech, Thyssen Group, Hitachi, and I can also count in multinationals, Indian national like Johnson. Uh, then you have organized sector where smaller companies have actually developed and they are properly maintaining their product quality, maintaining the safety standards and slowly growing in the industry as a major force to reckon with and uh, that is how I called it as organized sector and as we know that you know there is no clear guidelines or rulings or any safety uh, policies in India except for 11 states in India. So, because of that there is a spurt of unorganized sector or fly by night operators which if they do well they are falling into organized sector or they vanish. So, keeping these three uh, sectors in view like organized multinationals, organized sector and unorganized sector, the market currently in 2022 as we see was around a lack of units. It would have grown better uh, but for COVID, but by if you look at the next six years that by 2030, we should be looking at a market size of say 1.5 lakhs per annum for India, second only to China which is around 6 to 7 lakhs per annum. See from a customer perspective or the elevator company perspective, there are two important factors which are going to be very critical. These two important factors are like one is sustainability and second is digitalization. When I talk of sustainability, any builder who is making a building is actually going for green building ratings. When they go for green building ratings, elevators are also forming a part of the building envelope. So, whether the elevator in terms of uh, eco-friendliness, in terms of uh, environment, uh, in terms of sustainability, are they pertaining and are they ensuring all uh, eco-friendly features and benefits are available in the products or not. So, that is one important thing and what benefits is it going to give as a green building to the building in the long run. From a sustainability point of view, that is the most important thing. From the digitalization point of view, customers, whether it is retail sector, residential or commercial, People are looking for you know 99 to 100 percent uptime of the elevator. How do we do it? Earlier we used to do preventive maintenance, then we are doing uh, predictive maintenance. But right now the predictive maintenance has taken further leap uh, by say internet of things where a constant feedback is being sent from the elevators to the their uh, master command centers of the elevator companies where they get to know whatever are the uh, faults which are likely to happen in future in the elevators and they rectify it beforehand by predicting it right and ensuring 100 percent uptime of elevators which is a customer's delight. So, I say that sustainability and digitalization are the two, impo two important factors not only in the next 2 to 3 years but next 10 to 15 years to come. Yes, now uh, that elevators as we know uh, earlier were perceived as you know uh, equipment which takes people up and down traveling through the floors. But right now the uh, it is only used as a mode of vertical transportation. Right now all companies are trying to give or the builders and architects are expecting elevator companies to provide a good experience even in the elevator. That means lot of things you know I can use my smartphone, I just enter the building through my smartphone I call my elevator straight go when I reach the elevator lobby elevator is available for me great air conditioning great lobby and once I enter into the elevator car I have digital screening where I am getting lot of information which is relevant to me and a smooth ride I go up. And I have a great experience in the elevator as well. And it is a seamless experience from the time I enter the building and reach my destination floor. So, this is what is quite important. How you are creating customers uh, a great elevator experience is what elevator companies are looking at, builders and architects are also anticipating. So, 
see slm world is a great opportunity to and a platform to ensure that you know all stakeholders of the industry be it the elevator companies elevator component companies consultants builders architects everybody come together see what products are are the latest products which are showcased for them to see and through the uh, discussions which happen and the conferences which happen gain more knowledge about latest what is happening in the industry which is beneficial to them obviously in their uh, field of work and also to ensure that you know those kind of technologies and products are used in their future products so expos like this will create a great platform for people to come together network together and everybody stands to gain from that smart lifts and mobility awards is a great initiative because who doesn't like recognition everybody would like to be recognized for their work being done so when at such a big platform in front of the who and who of the industry being present there and if you are recognized for your efforts it's a great feeling this great feeling always motivates the elevator companies or the builders or architects to further do greater works and uh, this obviously is a great platform to which provides it and recognizes their efforts so awards are always a uh, welcome thing and in elevators this is the first time these kinds of awards are being created and being uh, awarded and uh, this is a great initiative yeah see as a consultant i see elevator as a high risk but highly safety advocacy is required in terms of the product quality in terms of the operational uh, this thing in terms of maintenance also safety is of paramount importance why because for the simple reason that it carries people inside it carries people inside so how safe a person or the people are being transferred from their entry floor to their destination floor is very very important and as this elevator travels up and down to greater heights and it is coming down it is very critical in terms of all kinds of safeties you know when uh, whether it is a uh, uh, over speed governor or your safety blocks or your uh, pit switches or your electrical safeties anything it should be perfect safety uh, i mean there is no compromise which can be done on the safety part which none of the elevator companies really would want to do but periodic inspections safety checks by elevator companies by third party consulting firms it's very important to ensure that you know the safety of the product is maintained for the safe usage of elevators by the end users see uh, we see for various causes the uh, runs do happen why do runs happen why people are not uh, people are taking only runs as the most important thing or uh, to create a mass awareness this happens because you know it garners lot of attention these uh, runs garner lot of attention elevator safety being the cause and uh, uh, company like virgo communication is doing this smart lift mobility expo and coupling it with elevator safety run which is the global first and uh, this creates lot of awareness in the entire masses who are there and it also through press and media it gives wider coverage and uh, finally you know whether we either it is a run being conducted or the coverage being given elevator safety the factor which is vital is being actually you know uh, being highlighted so this elevator safety run is a very important activity to create mass awareness and when lot of people join especially elevator companies component companies builders developers architects all these people join together come together for this fun activity of elevator run but actually you are giving a very vital and important message which is elevator safety see again when we talk of vertical transportation or elevator escalator travelator being the products of vertical transportation safety is of paramount importance until and unless there is a national lift policy what happens is there are no proper guidelines there are codes 
which are recommendatory, not mandatory. So what happens is if the national lift policy is enforced through the governments, then there will be a clear cut idea for builders, architects, how architects, how do they design, builders, how do they build, elevator companies, how do they make the products and ensure safe products are used by the end users. So in India right now, out of so many states in India, only 11 states have this elevator inspectorate and uh, we do not have that uh, proper common policy across India, which is very much the need of the hour. And I would strongly suggest that, you know, this national lift policy should actually ga gain traction to ensure that, you know, government, it attracts government attention and it is uh, enforced.